Okay, crazy, crazy. Just last night, I recorded a video showing how to use the Family Search app on your phone to add records to somebody who's already in Family Search and established. And I go in this morning and they have actually updated the app and changed almost everything that I said last night. So let me show you what you can do now that is completely different from what it was yesterday. So crazy. Okay, so here's Betty Louise Sykes. She has some documents to be added to her and the reason that I know that is that there is a bright blue icon up next to the place where a photograph of her would be. So I'm tapping on that light blue icon and it brings in four different articles uh, of uh, information for her. Let's try the find a grave. Betty Louise Sykes Birch. I'm going to look back to make sure that she has a spouse. She doesn't have a spouse with the last name Birch, so I'm going to give her one. And I'm going to pretend he's alive because I don't know whether he's deceased or not. And that's what I'm going to do. Just add him. We're just going to do that for the moment. I don't like doing that, especially in family search, because you never know that runs you into duplicates. But let's just see what we're going to do. Betty Louise Sykes Birch. Okay, there's no husband on there. So here's the record. It's a find a grave index record. We're going to hit compare. Look at the layout. Totally different from what it was before. So bizarre. Any of these you can go in and fix. Now, if you look, first off, the right is the family tree, the left is the, is the uh, document. So what we want is we want the most correct information on the right. Nobody goes by their married name, so we're not adding her married name to her. I simply use that as a means of adding a spouse to her. So the fact that they're different is okay because our best evidence is on the right. Then we go to sex. Unknown is not as good as female. Right is the tree, so that is better. Her birth date, 01 Nov 1938, is inferior to 1 November 1938 in Denton, Texas. Therefore, we are going to leave it that way. The only thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix the format of... Her birthplace in order to make it correct for family searches formatting. Same deal here. We're looking at death. There is no better information on the, oh, stop it. No better information on the left than on the right. So that's okay. And um, you're not supposed to put the name of the cemetery in the format of the burial place, which is, I think, a very great weakness of family search. They should have a field for that, but they don't. So um, the best evidence we can give them is the name of the town, county, state, and country. And that's what we've got on the right in the tree. And there's hubby. And there's everybody else is not in this record, so we're going to go ahead and attach it. Now we go back. Let's see what else we've got. We've got our birth index. Let's look at this. And here we go. 1, Dent, November, Denton, Texas. Here are mom and dad, Archie and Minnie. And there's nothing new that I can do with that. So yes, I'm going to attach that. And once, okay, now this is going to be interesting. Let's review the others. Okay. A.E. Sykes versus Archie Elmore Sykes. Archie Elmore is superior quality information. It's already in the tree. So we're good with that. We're going to attach it to him. And then it's going to ask us to review Minnie. Mini Corrine Cunningham, that is good. Her information already in the family tree is superior to what's in the record. So we're going to attach it as is. Now everybody has been attached. 
self, father, and mother. You can see the checks across the top. Done. There you go. Who knew that I was going to be in the middle of something this strange? <laughs> so quickly. That's very odd. But um, it's nice to be able to make a new video and to give you new information so quickly in the heels of complaining about something that didn't really work. Now there's a new record. I'm wondering if there's a... I'm wondering if somebody's going to provide her husband. Nothing seems to be providing. Oh, there's Randy. No, that's her son. Daughter-in-law. Sister-in-law. There's Bobby, my cousin Bobby. Let's try adding this for fun and see what happens. It's going to take me through all these different, different evolutions and revolutions and so the event of that's the event is the day of the genie of the uh, of the publication of this she lived there when she died she's got a spouse and a child both named per birch okay we're gonna see how this goes we're gonna give it and that's gonna say that not everybody's attached so let's go to Archie. Okay, attach it. Now we're going to go to Mother. Wait, attach it. Okay, now we're going to go to, Bo oh, there's Bobby. He was living in Denton on that day too. There's his wife Kathy. They're still alive. Now there's Randy who is a son. And let's see. As far as I can tell, I'm editing her son. I can't tell though, so I'm taking you with me through this little thing. Um, this process, I don't even, I can't even remember what it's, it's the obit. I can't tell if that created her a child or yeah that just did something wrong let me look at this now this is why I'm not crazy about Yes, he now made her husband into being a Randy Birch, and that's not right. So we need to add them a son named Randy Birch. This is why I don't like adding records in Family Search because it does wacky stuff like this, and I don't like that. So I'm editing him back to just Randy, taking out <laughs> obituary, which I spelled incorrectly anyway. So now we've got, he's back to being somebody Birch, whose name we don't know. Ah, his name is Ralph Benny. There you go. See, you provoke hints. And that's a good thing. So let's get his name in here. Ralph Benny. There's Betty Louise Sykes. Okay, so now we can add his information. 
I hate that they put unknown in there. That is just so wrong. It does not provoke hints. Now we've got a birth here on him. So that's good. We're going to attach it. Now we're going to attach it to Betty, right? Give their marriage date. There we go. Now, the only other thing we want to do, well, it's not going to let us do that. So it's not going to let us edit it. So it's only going to let us edit what's already there. I see. Okay. I'm discovering this with you guys. Because I like doing that. So we're walking through the process. Things are starting to make sense. That's good. Ralph Benny is going to have some more hints, I'm sure. Here we go. What else have we got for him? And now all of a sudden there aren't any. The only other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to correct this. And that's what I wanted to do before. There. By standardizing the date. So now we've got her spouse's name. We've got their marriage date and place. And that's Groovy. And I'm leaving him living because I don't know whether he is dead or not. And I'm not going to put him in a family tree saying he's dead when he's not. Because that's not cool. And all we know about Randy is that he was born sometime after 7 February 1958. Probably. So that's what I can do with this. I got to say, that was really, really super surprising to wake up to this and find that they had made a change just a few hours after I had recorded another video. So I wanted to be sure to share it with you. This is my new discovery. Um, it lets you make more changes and it lets you manipulate things in a way that it didn't before, and that's good, but I still urge you do not work with the Family Search app on your phone if you're not familiar with Family Search. If you are not well steeped in it, don't do it because it's too easy to make mistakes. So that's my video for today. I'll talk to you later if I can ever figure out how to turn this off.